Hello again, and welcome to episode 3 of This is Manchego. If you're like me, you found out that there's a whole deep world of cheese to explore, and this channel is my journal of findings that I'd like to share with you as I myself navigate this very deep rabbit hole that is the very vast and unique world of cheese. In this episode, we will be reviewing a blue cheese that I picked up at a local Whole Foods. I've had quite a number of blue cheese in my lifetime, and I always recall them being quite musky and sharp. This one though was really interesting to try as it had an interesting twist to it that I did not expect and it caught me off guard as I was tasting it. So with that, let's review this cheese. This is the quote unquote original buttermilk blue cheese by Roth Cheese. First, let's look at some of the details of this cheese. First we know it's made in Wisconsin in the United States by Roth Cheese as mentioned. In terms of grouping our family, I would definitely put this in the blue cheese category as it has the signature blue to it. It comes from cow's milk and it does not appear to be aged for an extended amount of extra time, unlike the Manchego from episode 1. Second, let's move into the texture and scent of the cheese. First, there is no rind on this cheese. As you can see, it comes up quite bare and it's ready to eat. And there's no need to slice off the rind or eat through it to get to the cheese. The texture is on the medium firmness level, one step down from a very firm cheese. I did find that it took quite a bit of strength to cut. However, the blue in the blue cheese creates cavities that make it porous and thus is easier to slice through. And although it still retained a firm texture to it, I also found it to be a bit crumbly as well. Parts of it actually broke as I was trying to unwrap the cheese. Scent wise, I found this cheese to be interesting. The scent of the cheese actually depends on which part of the cheese you smell. The blue parts of the cheese had a very strong scent, but the white parts of the cheese dialed down to a mild scent only. All in all, this led to a medium scent in combination, but sometimes you get a whiff with a really strong blue, and other times it was hard to pick up the scent. It should be noted that this cheese did overall have a very distinct blue cheese stink. Uh, while it hasn't, wasn't the strongest that I had smelled, I could definitely feel it in my nose. Finally, let's move into the taste test. Much like the smell, I found that depending on which portion of the cheese you tasted, you got a different profile. This was interesting as other blue cheeses that I had, I had tried had one flavor profile. The blue parts were in this cheese were quite sharp and they also had a salty flavor to them. They also had that moldy blue cheese taste, although for this cheese I found it not as strong as some other blue cheese I had tried before. The white parts were surprisingly different. I found them to be very buttery and with a hint of grassiness, but also with a slight bitterness to it. Overall, when you eat both the blue and the white parts, you get an interesting cheese that shares the sharp and salty and moldy aspects of the blue with the buttery and slight bitterness of the white, creating an interesting duality that, in my opinion, is best explored separately before bringing them together. Here are some conclusions. This blue cheese definitely lives up to its name, with the sharp and salty and moldy aspects coming through, but it was also a nice surprise to find that it had a softer edge if you ate the non-blue parts of the cheese. This blue cheese is quite sharp, but I realized that unlike some other blue cheese that I had tried, it did not have that kick in the nostrils that usually occurs. Overall, this is a somewhat strong blue cheese that has a unique duality to it, and you really have to take the time to explore it. Having almost two cheese in one created for some nice surprises, which for this cheese adventurer is all a part of the fun of exploring the world of cheese. And with that, thanks for watching, this is Manchego. If you have any cheese you'd like me to try, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. It's really strange. You can't say cheese in like a sexy, sultry way. I like cheese. Cheese is good. That is some fancy cheese. No. <laughs>